Hello, my name is Kylie Sturm, and I wrote about second wave feminist movements. Women began fighting for their rights in the late 19th century and early 20th century. These women were fighting to establish equal voting rights to men. They held many rallies to attain this goal. Eventually, they were granted equal voting rights in the 19th Amendment of the Constitution. In the 1960s, women were expected to get married, start a family, and dedicate their lives to their family and home. They were responsible for keeping the house clean and taking care of the children while their husbands were at work. The husbands were seen at the, as the head of household, and women did not have rights to their earnings or property. Men had full control over their wives, making their wives completely dependent on them. The only jobs available for women were teaching, nursing, or being a secretary. Betty Friden wrote The Feminine Mystique, and this book was about the frustration women felt about being a housewife. She felt many women's lives were not being fulfilled to their full potential. Her contradicting views stunned the nation and empowered women to seek fulfilling jobs outside of the home. Feminist groups began working to dismantle workplace inequality. They started by tearing down salary inequality and denial of access to better jobs. These women were fighting for equal pay for work of equal value or comparable worth. When women were not getting what they wanted, Betty Friden launched a group called National Organization for Women. This group lobbied Congress for pro-equality laws and assistance for women seeking legal advice while they fought workplace discrimination in court. The pro-women line was made because these women believed women were to blame for their own oppression because they wore makeup and uncomfortable clothes and shoes. They came up with the idea for a pro-women line to explain contradictory behavior. The women in this group fought to say that women do these things to fight the impossible beauty standards the world has created. In 1968, they protested at the Miss America pageant and criticized society for putting women in these situations. This movement helped unite women that were fighting individually. Feminist groups began fighting for abortion on demand because abortions were still illegal. Many women died annually from these illegal abortions. These groups fought for reproductive freedom and access to oral comp contraception. Black feminist groups began because they did not think white women were fighting for their rights. They created the Third World Women's Alliance to acquire the same rights white women were fighting for. Women being separated by race made the movement so much stronger. They joined together without actually ever joining together. The Equal Pay Act was passed in 1963. More jobs became available for women because of economic and societal changes, and many jobs were created after World War II. Two-thirds of these jobs went to women. Women were able to get oral contraception so they could attain a professional career without getting pregnant. Many young women began applying to medical, law, and business school. Public law was passed in 1964. This denied employers the right to refuse hire or discharge an individual based on race, sex, or national origin. Women were officially able to be more than housewives. Women were not entirely satisfied with what they had achieved. They still held strikes, marches, protests, and sit-ins. After Roe v. Wade was passed in 1973, women were able to get legal abortions, one of their main goals of the feminist groups. These women achieved more than they thought was possible. They left behind many organizations such as rape crisis centers, women's shelters, and health clinics where legal abortions were available. Betty Friden said, What used to be the feminist agenda is now an everyday reality. The way... Women look at themselves the way other people look at women is completely different than it was 30 years ago. Our daughters will grow up with the same possibilities as our son. And even though women still aren't getting paid equally to men, these feminist movements help get us that much closer to being equal. Thank you.